How's it going, dads? This video is what dads need to know about a road trip with the family, the dad edition. Okay? And so my name is David Bryant with Bryant Enterprises. This is my lovely daughter. What's your name? Shekinah Bryant. Shekinah Bryant. And we want to tell you what dads need to know about a road trip. So the first thing we want to tell you, we're not going to give you a whole lot of examples because we want to give you a starting place so you can springboard and what you need to know. First tip, dads, make sure that when you're going on a road trip that the vehicle is gassed up. I mean, these are the obvious things, right? Your tires are good and you've get, gotten a, uh, an oil change, right? Make sure that your vehicle that you're going in is good to go. What's another thing that fathers should know about a road trip? Fathers should know about what to bring. What to bring? Good. Like what? Give us examples. Like stuff for the children to do on the road. Good. Oh, what else? And stuff for the children to do when they get there. That's, that's awesome. So we're going to pause. Stuff for kids to do on the road. Why should dads, why should I know and bring things that you need to do on the road? Why is that important? Because if not, you won't get very much quiet. <laughs> so it won't be peace and quiet if there's a lot of stuff like... Uh, going on, a lot of chaos. Because what could happen if kids are bored, kids have too much time on their hands? What is the famous question that most kids ask their fathers or parents? Are we there yet? Right. Are we there yet? Say it again. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Right. So you want to make sure that you bring something to keep them occupied. Like what? What should dads bring for the kids? Like toys and coloring books. Toys, coloring books. What else? Um, games. Games, okay, uh, electronics, video games, TV, DVD player, movies, things like that that's going to hold their interest and that's going to keep your sanity, ah, ah, right, that's going to keep your sanity while you're driving on the road. Now, some road trips may just be uh, two hours. That's not too bad, right, but some you might be driving across the country, especially around the holidays. So you want to make sure that you bring something for the kids to do. And the second thing you said, Shekinah, was to bring something for the kids to do once they get there. Yes. That's another thing. Make sure you pack what you need to take, right? You can't just take you unless you're going to be gone for like just a day trip. But make sure that you take, change your clothes, the proper things. And for babies, dads, as you, you and I know, we're going to have to make sure they have a diaper bag. Mom may have it, but what if mom's not going? Or just, it's, it's important for us as dads to be able to take responsibility in some of these things as well, right? Right. Another thing I want to share with you is music. Have some good music. For you, man, have some music that you're going to jam out to, that you're going to enjoy. But it's always good just to have dad music alone, or should there be something else? There should be kid music. Too. Kid music, yeah. Why? Because so the kids can jam out, too. So the kids can jam out? Like how? How, how, how would they jam out? Show me. Singing and dancing. Singing and dancing. So show me, like, let's act like we have a lot of music on, and we're going to dance. Five, four, three, two. I don't dance. <laughs> well, I was, I'll dance in the All right. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So she said she doesn't dance. But make sure you bring music for your kids to jam out to. So make sure that you bring music for your kids to dance to <laughs> and enjoy as well. All right. Um, also, bring snacks. Once you get hungry along the way, and um, it's good to, to bring snacks. That way, you won't have to stop a whole lot of times as far as to eat, okay? Unless you, unless you want to. Unless you plan that along the way to stop and look at a landmark or something. But make sure you bring snacks for dads and snacks for who else? For your children. For the children. Do you get hungry while we're driving? Yes. Yes. Hey, speaking of hungry, what else would uh, you need to do? Uh, you said something earlier to me that when we're planning for our road trip that we're going to take here, here pretty soon... What do we need to know? What do dads need to know like me? About being prepared and we might make many what? Many stops. Many stops along the way. Why? Because you have children in the car. Children in the car. And what do kids have to stop for sometimes? Food, bathroom. 
food, and stretching bathroom, your legs. and stretching your legs. Right. So dads, we might have to take a bathroom break. But this is good because sometimes if you're taking like a six hour trip um, that you look on, on your, your GPS, it might be longer because it might be stretched out because of the breaks you have to take. All right. So just know that going in. Anything else that we need to let the dads know as we get ready to close out? When you get there, um, you should you should like have something to eat there too, and you should tell your kids where the where to go. Cause like if you're checking in out at a hotel, or even if it's in between breaks, you should always tell them what to do. Cause if you don't, they'll get lost, and then it will be a disaster. Right, that's a very good point. Tell them what to do. Tell them what's coming up ahead. I think it's good to know what's going to happen. That way you prepare them ahead of time. Be at a hotel. Be, hey, buddy, we only have another hour go left, and we're going to, you know, we'll be there. So kind of fill them in, you know, because they need to know what to expect, how long that's going to be, and be prepared for the transition. You and I know as, as dads that it's important that we prepare our kids for transitions. That way uh, they don't flip out and... and um, and that way the whole family can stay together and we're not looking all crazy and cross-eyed and, and ready to fight somebody or ready to, to put our son in time out or spank them or whatever it may be because they're acting up because we didn't tell them what's coming next. So dads, let's think ahead. Let's plan. Just like we're planning on a map, okay, where we're going to go, our destination. Uh, let's make sure we plan ahead also with the whole trip and the well-being of our family. Any last comments? You're good to go? You're good? All right. I do want to say this, if you're flying in an airplane, make sure you get there early, okay? Make sure you pack, uh, make sure even you take snacks if you can, uh, and... Uh, make sure you sit together. Make sure you sit together, because you want to make sure it's still a family trip, okay? Plan fun things, have fun. If you have time to take, uh, take in the landmarks as you're driving, do that. Make it a learning experience, not just uh, for you, but for the whole family. Last tip I'm going to say, and we're going to be out. <gasps> you have a tip. Okay, we'll share yours too. What's your tip? If you have pets, you should always make sure they have enough food. Good. And water. Good. So if you're taking pets with you or if you're leaving them at home? Both. That's a very good tip, Shekinah. So if you're taking pets on the road with you, plan for that. If you're, they're in the carrier or you're just, you know, you might have to take a, take a stop extra so your cat or your dog can go to the bathroom as well. But make sure you have enough food for them. Also, if they're staying back at home, keeping the house uh, ready for you uh, when you get back home, make sure they have enough things. Make sure they have, you have people checking on them as well uh, so they can be taken care of. And my final tip of the day. Jump roll. Six pack, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, she said, mm. <laughs> make sure dads, this is what I'm going to do on our upcoming trip here and here it's pretty soon. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to leave at night because my chip, chip, my chip, my chip, I want some of the chip. <laughs> my, our trip is going to be over 20 hours. So we're going to leave at, I'm, we're going to leave at night. That way, what's this girl going to be doing? Sleep. Sleep. Right? She's going to be asleep for at least half of the trip, right? Or for a good uh, six to eight hours. So this guy's going to be driving. So that way, it'll be nice and quiet. And then uh, we'll get a lot done. Okay? So plan that way as well. If you are uh, take the coffee, five-hour energy, whatever you need to do to take care of you. Take stretch breaks. Do what you got to do. Have fun. This is uh, going to be a, a good time. So from Bryant Enterprises, okay? From David Bryant and... Shekinah Bryant. Enjoy your trip. Have fun, okay, because this is going to be good for you, okay? Make it a family experience. And if things don't go your way, calm down, relax. Is it going to be okay? Yes. Let's say it together. One, two, three. It's going to be okay. All right. Have a, until next time, check out our videos. So subscribe to this video, to our, our YouTube channel. Check out more videos because we have a lot of great content uh, for fathers. Uh, and even when doing this video, uh, planning for a summer trip that we were going to take. I didn't see a lot of tips for us as dads out there. So I wanted to create something like this. Okay, y'all have a great day. Anything you want to say to the kids? Behave. You want to give them like a mean look or use a nice look? Oh, wow. I would be, if I saw that look, I would be like scared. Behave. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You smile or she's still mean mugging? So we want a mean mug on the way out you want to smile? Mean. Mean mug.